Alright, what's up YouTube? We're back with another Need for Speed Challenge video. And in this video, we're going to be doing part 3 to the Italy 1 vs. 1. In this video, we're going to be using the Afro Romero Guglia. Same rules as the last video. $200,000 budget for performance and customization. We both get the 15 pound loss ball for free. And we're going to do best out of 3 for track racing, dig racing, and roll racing. At the end of the video, whoever has the lead, make sure to comment on their video who you think has the better looking car. At the end of it, whoever has the most points wins. Let's get it. Is an interesting color for you. I know. I, I, I like it's so interesting. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> I don't know. It was like, it looks kind of like like brown, gold, tan. Like I'm um, like it's like it's like uh, almost like a rose gold, but we're like like more of a, a tan. It's like a tan rose gold. That's what I'm gonna call it. But I saw I saw the color and I was like, I never I never used it before so might as well and then I just added um like like the satin um black across the entire um top of the car which whenever you do that it also changes the color of um this spoil the stock spoiler. Um so if you wanted like a red um little lip on the spoiler, uh you could do that with like the sticker, um uh, which is kinda cool. And I just matched the rims to the exact same color on the top. And of course, you know, black out the headlights, taillights. New side skirt. Um, went with the carbon exhaust. And then a new rear bumper because it had like the extra. Um, thanks for writing what I'm talking. Um, it had the extra air vent right there on the back. That looks good. Yeah, so not not oh, too really much. Like not too much, but. Um, let's see. Did you did you add anything to like the body? Uh, only thing I got was a diffuser. That's about it. And I just made the crims, uh, the crims. I made the rims chrome, and the color is from kind of like Forza, a uh, Forza Horizon. Mm -hmm. They had the, the Forza Edition car. They had like kind of like this kind of looking blue metallic color. So I try to replicate it. Is it metallic or is it chrome? Oh, chrome. But it's like it, it, it's like, it's it looks like this in Forza. Ah, uh, okay, okay. But the Chrome looks closest to it in this game. 
Uh, what's your rating? My rating is 313. Mine's 324. 324, okay, okay. Alright, first race. Dude, this car looks sick in this camera mode. I don't know, I actually, I actually really like the color. That, like, especially whenever, like, you can see it with, like, the lighting. That looks pretty sick. And dude, the pops on this car sound amazing. It's like a little different kind of pops. Like, like, like sharper. Ooh, this little, a little slippery boy. Yeah. Look at this Mustang in front of me. That purple actually looks sick. Yeah, I do like that Mustang. Tunnel. Oh, I'm not doing good this race. I need to, I need to get, get my head in the game. Oh my gosh, I went way. That was. <sighs> I feel like I'm, uh. I'm overestimating the car. I feel like the car is, like, very sensitive. It's like. If you don't go too much, it's like, no, nah, I don't want to turn. But then if, you, if you turn too much, it's like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drift. Yeah, I see. Um, I see myself like trying to push it really hard through the corners, like I usually do, um, like every other car. And for this one, it's just it, I'm uh, hitting more of the the things on the side. Yeah, I'm trying to like, cause usually I try to like ease into. Well, I say you sometimes. I don't really have like a full on like style, but it just seems like some 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 corners it like doesn't like I'm not turning enough, so it's like nope, I'm not gonna turn. But then like some corners, it's like I'm drifting because it's not like as solid as like the other cars we've been driving. Yeah, this, this one but, is definitely a lot more slippery than the other ones. Yeah, but then again, this is a four door car and it's longer and stuff. The other ones we've been driving are like. Two door, you know, uh, especially like the last two are both like classic cars, so different kind of car builds. Yeah. Can't, I can't wait until they start like introducing like weight into the game where it actually matters. And yeah. like you're able to make your car lighter, like strip out like the rear seats or the passenger seat. You, whenever you exchange stuff like for like carbon fiber parts, it makes it weight less and stuff. That'd be sick. I legit delete yeah. everything and add and add. Also, we, I need uh I need roll bars uh so to add in my car. Then you can like and that also like um like roll bars. You're able to do alignments. I make and like like the way the car drives and stuff. Should I be able to like change as you customize it? Because I feel like. They, they, spent, they already did a really good job and make paying attention to the customization part. Now I just need stuff when it comes to like the actual car, the way it, it like performs and drives and sounds and everything to be more unique between a bunch of different cars. That was a Kunin saw in front. Yeah. I want to get another uh, another one and then customize it. And I want to get a Diablo too. Yeah. 
Where this this acro white body right here it kinda makes me want to get one now. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. I was I almost hit the side of the tunnel. Yeah, you're definitely a lot faster than me. That makes me nervous whenever it comes down to time to do drag racing and roll racing. Mm. Well, faster on a track, you know, we're not going a straight line. Cause yeah. it, and here is like, you know, as long as you have enough power to get, you know, the, the short distances and you know, you're able to put down that power really quickly, because track racing is nothing but like, like power short burst. You know, you you go through a corner, and then you have to slow down and it accelerate as fast as possible, and then slow down again. Um, so you know, a car that has you know 500 horsepower, but like can get there much faster than a car with like 700. You know. Makes it, it, make, it, it makes a huge difference. But when it comes to drag racing, and then you got like the big bottle tank, and every horsepower just going straight. Oh yeah, that that's that's where it counts the most. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow, I hit a lot of those things on the side. It, it's kind of it's kind of funny whenever people like talk about like, like say like Camaro or Mustang owners, and talk trash to like the Dodge owners because they're like. Yeah, whoop 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 your car is put on like on the track and it's like dodges weren't really made to go around tracks. They're they're big, boxy. They're they're, they're not meant to be aerodynamic. A, bu yeah, a, bu a bunch of power. Really yeah. big thick tires. Like bro, that, that's a that's like you look at it and if you don't know if you don't like if the word drag car doesn't come to your head, I don't know what yeah. the heck you're thinking. And you know it's fun like watching like the drag racing, but at the same time like I, I need like I need a chart to be like okay whenever you check in be like all right you have I see you have a Mustang what, what's done your Mustang oh I, that Mustang just beat that Challenger and it's like I wonder what they did to it because you know they're seeing the results and stuff because then that also be cool like what I know not a lot of, not a lot of people would want to do that because like the people who are competitive be like oh, I'm not gonna tell you what I have built and stuff but if you're just doing it for fun then it'd be cool but like just like watching it and stuff it's like so you see like a Camaro beat a, uh, a Mustang and it's like, oh, what the, what, 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 what they had in it, you know? Yeah, it would be, it'd be cool if it was like, um, like a huge, um, um, like, I don't know what you call it, I mean, yeah, you can say like the, like the, kind of like how you have at the, like the football stands, you have like the huge, like TV, like, like the, the Jumbotron, that, that play like replays and stuff. If they had one of those at like the at the drag strip and it gave you like pretty much like the car stats so like you know like the the name of the car um the the variant of the type of car the year it is um you know the the performer mods is the only thing we really care about like visually i don't need to like know that you have a a, 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 a huge wing on the back i can see it <laughs> That's not really gonna tell me that much of a difference. Just tell me like you know performance stuff done to it. Um, you know like if it's like like supercharged, um, and then you know it, even if it wants to show like a like a dyno um, like stat or picture like with it, um, you know so then you can kind of compare both cars, and you know for what you said about like the you know like the people who are really competitive they want to like say that stuff. Well, you won't tell the other person you're racing. You just tell the person that's trying it down. So every, everybody in the stands would know that this person, you know, has 650. The other person has 700. Um, the two drivers don't know. But then after y'all finish racing, y'all, you know, y'all can look at the stat thing and be like, okay, he had 50 extra horsepower and beat me by two seconds. Not bad. You know, and, yeah. and then everybody has like an idea of what's like about to happen on the race and. It'd be cool, especially like if cars that have like um, less power, but they built it, they built a better like drag car, like you know, because let's say there's a car with 100 horsepower less, but they had drag tires, and another car didn't. 
and and was able to get like a lead on them and win the race, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Dude, I'm so close to second place, but it's not enough. Dang. That the Acura beat you. Yeah. I was kinda I was trying to close close in on it at the last stretch, but I wasn't able to make it. Uh, first race. Hit and loss whenever you want to, you ready? Yep. Uh, one, three, two, one. I think you have extra NOS. Oh. Oh, you got it. You got it. Dang. And that was that was only by like, like maybe like, I'll say like 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 about a foot or two. Uh, second, second one hit NOS as soon as you go on one. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Go. A little, a little bit of tire spin. Let's see if I can pull the. Uh, no, uh, no, I can't. No, it's not enough power. I'm pulling a little, but it's, yeah. it's not enough. Yeah. First roll race at 30. Hitting off whenever you want to. You ready? Yep. Uh, uh, three. Two, one. I hit my nose instantly, so let's see if that paid off. Or you're gonna get a big pool. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, three, two, one. Nos is close. Yep. All right. Last one, no Nos. You ready? Yep. I was getting. Right. Oh, I'm starting to pull. Yeah. Nice pull. Yeah, I got, I got one. I got one. All right, that's the end of the video. I had the lead two to one. So make sure to comment on my video who you think had the better looking Alfa Romero. Make sure to go check out Shadow Z's channel. His link is down in the description. If you haven't seen any of our other Need for Speed videos, I have a playlist to the entire One vs. One Country edition. And a playlist to the Hide and Seek One, one vs. One challenge. And a, a few other Need for Speed challenges thrown in there as well. Make sure to comment any other video suggestions down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Hope you join. I'll see you in the next one.